When you're working with wire, the most common brand of fly tying wire is UTC. This comes in a few different sizes. Most typically, you're going to work with medium, brassy, small, and extra small. Now the functions of these are, are different usually in how they're applied. Typically, with the small and the extra small, you're going to use those as ribbing for different patterns. Uh, but when it comes to the medium and the brassy, if you use these for patterns with wire bodies, uh, for patterns like uh, the Copper John or my Fusion Nymph, there's a couple things that you need to keep in mind. When you go to tie in the wire or to start to work with it, it's important to make sure that that wire tracks and parallels the hook shank as you wrap it in. So when we tie this wire in, we're not going to tie it in on the top. We're going to tie it in on either, I prefer to do it on the far side, but some people do prefer to do it on the near side. It doesn't matter as long as it parallels that hook shank. So I usually just set it down directly next to the shank, wherever my tie-in point is for that pattern. Catch it with two or three nice snug wraps. And then as I wrap to the rear, I want to make sure that I can't see that wire from where I'm at. And that's my indicator that it is paralleling the shank all the way back to wherever I want to stop. Now the thing that really matters with wire bodies is what's underneath them. So if I come through with other materials or I come through with my thread and I've got big, chunky, lumpy buildup of thread, my wire body over the top is going to be chunky and lumpy. It's going to be hard to wrap and hard to make it look smooth and nicely, tightly segmented. I want a nice, smooth, laid down thread body underneath it, whether you're using the ADOT or whether you're using a denier type thread. And then as I go and I bring that through, I want to try to apply universal tension to it. So if I'm going to wrap that body for the Copper John or the segments on my Fusion, I want to apply nice, firm, solid tension to the wire with each of those wraps. And once again, like I said, if you have the thread laid down smoothly, the body should be smooth over the top of it. So what do you do with the wire when you get to the end of the body? So for the sake of, of example here, I'm going to take the thread back to the wire. You don't want to take the tips of your scissors back here and cut this stuff off. It's a great way to dull your scissor tips. And so after you tie it off this, this wire, so let's throw a couple thread wraps around it for the sake of example. We use what we call a helicopter technique. And all that means is that I'm going to take that wire in my hand and I'm going to move it in a circle like a helicopter blade. And after I go around a few times, it's going to snap off really nice, tightly and evenly where I want it to be tied off. And that saves me a lot of wear and tear on my tips of my scissors. It also makes an easy transition point to whatever material that I have to work with next.